welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you are brand new. Today's video is going to be surrounding everything you need to know about paragliders in the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom game. And trust me, you're going to want to listen up because this video will tell you how to get a paraglider and the brand new feature in Tears of the Kingdom where you can actually customize your paraglider with these amazing fabrics that you find in game. If this video helps you out at all, think about giving the video a like and think about subscribing to the channel as we are always trying to grow and produce amazing Zelda videos. Let's get right into it. So for starters, you are going to need to obviously obtain a paraglider in the game. Now, unlike Breath of the Wild, this isn't given to you right away. You have to do a little something after the tutorial area. So after doing your tutorial in the Great Sky Islands, you must go to Central Hyrule to a brand new town called Lookout Landing. Now this, again, is very easy to find. It is literally the first quest that they give you, and I believe they actually put a marker on your screen. Once you get to Lookout Landing, you are going to want to head left up the stairs to go see Pura. Now when you first see her, she will be in her office. This was a little bit later in the game, so she wasn't there. Talk to her, she will give you another quest. Once you complete that, you go back to her and you start basically the main story of the game. And right before she tells you to go on your way, she does give you a paraglider to help you traverse Hyrule. Now the interesting thing about this is you can skip this entirely and go through a lot of the game without a paraglider. I don't really know who would do that considering the paraglider lets you quite literally do everything, get to areas that you couldn't otherwise. So you're definitely gonna wanna get this very early in your playthrough. Now, if you are wondering how to customize your paraglider, you're definitely gonna wanna listen up because it is a little bit involved and there are specific locations that you need to go. So first off, you are going to need to obtain the paraglider fabrics. Now, when you first get the paraglider, it comes in the standard fabric and you can find fabrics out in the wild. I won't spoil the exact locations of these fabrics, but just think back to Breath of the Wild because there's a very nostalgic one in a very nostalgic place. These can be found in chests scattered around the land, and it's kind of cool because you're rewarded for your exploration in this game. By far the easiest way to obtain these fabrics is to scan in Legend of Zelda compatible amiibos. The amiibo rune is unlocked very early on in the game, and you will use it very much so like your other powers, Ascend, Ultra Hand, things like that. So to use the amiibos, simply hit the L button, go to the amiibo symbol, and scan your amiibo on either your Pro Controller or your Joy-Con. Now what the amiibo gives you is totally random, but each amiibo has exclusive items. You're definitely gonna wanna scan these amiibos more than once because amiibos can have full armor sets, very special weapons, armor, helmets, trust me when I say scan them every day. Now you can only scan these amiibos once every 24 hours. However, you can create save states, scan your amiibo. If you don't get what you want, load back to that save state and scan again. Or you can scan a bunch of your amiibos and actually change your day and time in your system settings and scan all of them again. Again, it works on this 24 hour clock, but it does give you a little bit of freedom to get all of these sets. Different amiibos will actually unlock these glider skin fabrics. Once you have your fabrics, it's time to customize your paraglider and here's where to go. To customize your paraglider with the fabrics that you found, you simply need to go to Hatano Village. Now, Hatano Village is just southeast of Central Hyrule, and once you get there, you need to find a very familiar character. The character you are looking for is Sage. Now, you might remember this character from Breath of the Wild, who lets you actually customize your armor, and it lets you dye your armor different colors. Well, in Tears of the Kingdom, Sage actually has another function, for 20 rupees, he will allow you to apply any of the fabrics to your paraglider. Once you apply your fabric to your paraglider, he will shoot you up in the air and you will see your brand new creation. Again, I highly encourage exploring in this game and also scanning those amiibos to unlock these exclusive paraglider skins. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Again, if this video helped out at all, give it a like and think about subscribing. See you in the next video, everyone.